All right, I'm at an uranium mine, an abandoned uranium mine. This place has been covered up pretty much, uh, but you can see there like where the ridge is. Uh, this was an open pit mine and I think it was like the duck over here somewhere. And now they're using this for storing wood and stuff. Um, but there is a hot spot somewhere over there and um, my plan is to mine some uranium but if you, before I'm doing that I think I'm going to check this place out a bit in this direction because I have never measured over there a bit with the uh, Geiger counter and um, then we're going to check out the place over there All right, the levels are pretty normal over here. I think the mine went up to like the street. So it's, it doesn't seem to be like very big. But I think this, this place over here is pretty much covered up. Um, that's why the levels are pretty normal. And the only way you can like get to the rock is to this uh, area over there, so I'm going to go back. Uh, let's, let's check the stone here. There is some erosion. Um, I'm not sure how much erosion there was before. Um, let's, let's just put it here. I'll set it down. Not really. So I'm getting a bit higher readings, but like still background, I think. 26. Shift the rubble. Like on this wall, uh, that's not much. This looks really fresh, like the stone fell off really fresh. I wonder if someone was digging here. Um, over there, this fell out as well. Like the levels are not like pretty much pretty high. Um, but there is a spot. And I checked the spot out last week. That's in this direction. Okay. So this is more up the side. And let's check the levels over here. Still not very high. Oopsie. Uh, But, when you get over here, there is this small area. Oh, we're already reading higher. 27. Oops, not focused. We're already <laughs> having higher readings. So this area looks like it has been dug up. Oh, we're already at... Point nine fifty one point fifty six. Um, this area is has higher levels of radioactivity, and I was there last week, so I dug in into here a little bit more. So I, I was here before and checked this place out, and let's check out the levels in here. So this needs a while to climb. At two microsieverts an hour, 5.3, so it's around like 5.3 microsieverts an hour over here in this thing. Um, 
and this this is pretty high compared to uh, the surroundings and there is some uranium here I checked this out last week I have a UV light but it's it's a pretty crappy light that I built a couple of years ago and it's not really strong so let's see if we can like see the fluores fluorescence from the uranium um, yeah this, this is really crappy and has only like what one two three four five UV LEDs so it's not really strong there but let's see if we can uh, see something if I shade it a bit you can see there's something glowing under the UV light and like this rock is also is this glowing I think it's glowing as well might be uranium uh, let's switch this off for now and maybe check like this small piece out uh, so I have to pull this stone out so I have to get the gloves and there's more stuff in here and I'm tr going to try to dig this up and see what we get but there seems to be uranium ore in this uh, thing and like, like I said I feel I feel like someone dug this up already okay before I start digging <laughs> Um, I'm going to check this place out a bit more because uh, I don't want to touch my camera after I duck or while I have like gloves on so let's, let's check this out check this place out first and then I'm going to set up the camera and see if I can get some uranium wow something changed over there this was not how it was before I wonder where am I because this was not here before and there was a structure oh wow someone drove up here and put this over there because there was a structure over there so I'm pretty sure there was like a hole with a um, like concrete thing I'm pretty sure that was where they duck or where they placed the sand and there was also like a metal thing uh, I don't know right now what it was called but um, I'm pretty sure it was over here and it's gone now that's interesting let's check what they did uh, this might be private property I have like something for electricity and stuff I think I'm going to return okay this place just changed oh here's some structure some concrete stuff over here which I think it's not really not really very active I don't know what this has been used for. <sighs> All right, <laughs> safety. I'm going to wear a mask uh, against dust or anything. I have gloves, I have goggles uh, because there are stones flying into my direction when I hammer uh, on it. I'm going to put these gloves underneath, underneath these and I'm going to put what I find in this bag put more bags around this and put this in this box 
Um, and I'm going to use a normal hammer to like get some work. So I'm going to put this on, set up the camera and then I'm going to see what we get. That's a small rock. It's definitely uranium ore. Alright, now I'm not, not sure how visible this really is with the black light. Here's something here. You can kind of see the uranium, but there is not a whole lot here anymore. Uh, up there a little bit. But there's not really uh, a whole lot. So, there's not really a whole lot. So, I'm going to stop this. Um, because I also don't want to stay here any longer. Uh, I thought, so I think I'm going to call it quits. I didn't get a whole lot down here. Let's see. Uh, that's maybe maybe half a kilo. Put my Geiger counter over there because. The radiation levels here should be more normal than they are. Just test it. Yeah, some uranium ore. Yep, I think that's pretty good. Uh, I think for more. You would have to dig deeper and use... Okay, my battery from the camera just died, uh, so I have to use my phone. What I wanted to say is, um, yeah, there's not a whole lot in there anymore. I'm not sure if I got like the last remaining uranium from this place. Um, you probably get more if you like really dig in there but yeah let's go back it's getting kind of dark and late I think all right I am back and let's check out what I got I stored everything in this ammo box so and the ammo box I kept outside because of possible radon uh, yes it has actually been a some time and I put some um, what was it called like sh act activated charcoal in there um, because this might uh, emit radon and the decay products might deposit in here so let's uh, check this out if they actually did and it did Yeah, so the uh, activated charcoal thing is now radioactive because the radon that's coming off from this is mostly staying in there. I put this uh, outside because of the radon, not storing this inside the house or anything. And uh, yeah, put this inside and the decay products from the radon are going to get collected in here. And this is just to test uh, generally. This is not like the ammo box is not tight, and I keep this outside so the radon can just go away. Now, this is now that's what I got. This is some other stuff, and this is also what I got. So, I got two bags. Uh, this is when I made the video and this is uh, 
before that the week I went there before mining and this is from uh, what I recorded so yeah Let's, before I unpack this, let's uh, check out how radioactive this is. So yeah, that's around 4.4 around that. Let's remove that. This stuff. So this is around six microsieverts an hour uh, but it's also more material so yeah okay here are some stones that I've collected um, this one's pretty nice it has like not many but I think pretty deep uranium deposits in there so this thing is pretty radioactive we have a small one you can see it has like a tiny bit it's like always just on the surface a bit you can see that this one's pretty good you can see very well all the uranium. This should be pretty radioactive as well. Yeah, that's a pretty good piece. And we got this one, also pretty nice. Pretty much uranium everywhere. No, not this side. Yeah. This one is a really good one. It has a really bright spot here and all sorts of stuff all the way around so that's nice as well all right that's all the stuff I got the stuff I just showed and some more in these bags I'm going to put this away now if you have any suggestions maybe I should extract the uranium but that's kind of insane to do but yeah if you have any suggestions what to do with it leave it in the comments uh, maybe I should or could do a giveaway but uh, I'm not sure about this if I should do this shipping radioactive stuff and like shipping in general but yeah leave some suggestions in the comments and I'm going to take some photos of this now and until next time bye